What's up guys, it is Curse Mark Reed here and I want to introduce a new segment I'm going to be starting on my channel each week called NFL Pick'em. It's where I'll go and go through every NFL game that's going to happen this Sunday, which this one is September 26th, and pick who I think will win. Um, I was going to have a co-host do this with me, maybe he'll be here next week, but uh, if you'd like to come join me pick see, and pick who you think will win alongside me maybe each week uh, comment in the comments below give me your Skype name we'll talk and set it up from then and we'll get a time and a date and we'll do it we'll probably be on if I'll do it every Saturday but yeah okay, let's get started first the first game is San Francisco at Kansas City me personally I'm picking Kansas City because they're my favorite team I'm not gonna go against them they're undefeated right now but San Francisco is looking good, so hopefully they'll pull a 3-0 record out from this game. Next, we have Detroit at Minnesota. Detroit's lost their starting quarterback, Matthew Stafford. So I don't look for their hopes to getting a, for their first win this season. Minnesota's going to go all the way. Well, not going to go all the way. They're not going to go to the Super Bowl. They're going to win this game at least. But, yeah, next game. Buffalo at New England. Buffalo's not looking good this year, even though my boy C.J. Spiller is on them, on the team. But uh, Tom Brady and the New England Patriots are looking very, very good. So they're going to win. It's going to be a blowout. But I might be surprised. I don't know. Next game, Atlanta at New Orleans. Now, this one was a very big toss-up for me. I'm not an Atlanta fan, but I'm, I root for Atlanta because, you know, that's my home team, kind of. Cause I live in Georgia, but uh, looking at it, it's gonna be a toss-up. I'm gonna say New Orleans just because of the record behind them, and Atlanta hasn't, you know, done much this year. Next up, we have Tennessee at New York, New York Giants. Tennessee last week looked terrible against Pittsburgh. Seven turnovers that killed them, and then they put their backup quarterback in. He didn't look any better. Steelers just walled them last week. New York, the Giants are going to wall from this week. Eli Manning will come back from a loss and beat the Titans. Next up, Pittsburgh at Tampa Bay. Pittsburgh looked great last week, like I said, against the Titans. Tampa Bay hadn't looked good in a few years. The Steelers are going to win, although I hate the Steelers. They're going to win the game. Next up, we have Cincinnati at Carolina. Um, Carolina... Is again one of those teams that hadn't looked good in a while. Uh, Cincinnati's got uh, you know Carson Palmer, uh, Terrell Owens, uh, Chad Ochocinco. If that's his real name anymore, I don't know. I, can, I don't keep up with it. He's got you know reality shows, but since that is going to run over Carolina. So next we have Cleveland at Baltimore. Cleveland played Kansas City last week. Almost beat Kansas City. So that's why I'm scared for Kansas City this week against San Francisco. But I think Baltimore, with their dominant defense, will beat them. Hands down. Next up, we have Dallas at Houston. Houston. Sorry if I say that wrong, but it's it's uh, in-state rivalry. Uh, Texans have looked good so far this year. They got their first... Uh, I think 2-0 start. Yeah, the first 2-0 start. Looking for a 3-0 start. If I'm wrong, correct me. Dallas looked bad against the Redskins and looked bad last week. The Texans are going to roll. Next up, we have Washington at St. Louis. St. Louis has, you know, Sam Bradford, their new, uh, you know, new quarterback, number one pick. He's looked good, but not enough to you know, win a game. I think Washington, they've been looking good this season. They're going to win. They're going to beat St. Louis. It's, yeah. Next up, we have Philadelphia at Jacksonville. Another toss-up for me. I like Jacksonville. I like Philadelphia. Philadelphia, they got Mike Vick starting, which they should have done from the beginning. I mean, I mean come on. Kolb, really? We have Michael Vick. I know he's not suited for the offense, but come on. Michael Vick can run that offense. Uh, Jacksonville, they, they were looking they're looking all right. They're 
They're looking good. Uh, Philadelphia wins this game. I'm sorry. Next, we have Indianapolis at Denver. I'm looking for a Colts win here. Peyton Manning, uh, he's just, he's a, uh, he's a leader. I mean, he'll lead this team over Denver. Next up, Oakland at Arizona. Oakland hadn't been good for ever. Let's not remember. I mean, back in the first first NFL started, but Arizona's going to win this game, even with their new quarterback. Okay, San Diego at Seattle. Seattle's got a new coach this year. I'm not looking for a Seattle win. Chargers win. Uh, new York Jets at Miami. Another toss-up. The Jets, beginning of the year, said, oh, we're going to win the Super Bowl. We're going to win the Super Bowl. What have they done? They lost to Baltimore. I don't remember what they did the second week, but I think I think Miami will come in here and give them a good game and actually win. And now for the Monday night game, the Green Bay Packers at the Chicago Bears. Green Bay is very good this year. I like, I like what they're doing. Chicago, they had a good win last week. But uh, I think you know, I think the Bears are going to win. They're going to pull the upset against Green Bay. It's set in stone. All right, that's my pick for Monday night, Chicago. All right, that, those are my picks for the week. I'll be doing this every Saturday night. If y'all would like to join me, please comment in the comments below. I'll put you in via Skype. But uh, thanks.